Hello and welcome to another video. So I've made another 3D printer. This particular one is called a Tower Simple XL, which is a version based on the original PrinterBot Simple designed by Brook Drum. And this is just a modified version of that by Almas Yang, who's done a nice Instructables page. If you know, want to know how to build one, I'll leave a link for that in the description. So the electronics are just standard RepRap electronics with a RAMPS 1.4 board. The only notable difference really is I'm using a E3D Titan clone. But all these parts I just recycled from my SmartRap Core LU build. The entire frame is built out of 6mm MDF and acrylic. So if you have access to a laser cutter or even if not it's still quite a cheap printer to build. So the frame all just slots together piece by piece and as long as you just follow the steps you can't really go far wrong. The x-axis motor is enclosed in the base here so you need to install that first and then you can add the main body and everything is just secured with the M3 bolts and nuts. All the linear motion is taken care of with standard LM8 UU bearings but cable tied onto the frame and it's not the most rigid way of doing it but it it does work and there's not too many oscillations it's just quite a straightforward way of doing it. So once you've installed the belts and the end stops underneath the x-axis build plate this is now the main bulk of the design. The y-axis again is based around this acrylic piece with eight LM8 UU bearings, simply cable tied on again. And this is installed on another stepper motor. The main carriage itself, again you just assemble it like so. And this is what that should look like with the z-axis lead screw nut in place. So install the 8mm rods and these are again just cable tied to the frame. Here I'm installing the z-axis motor with a flexible shaft coupler. I will ended up changing this in the end which I'll explain later. So this can be installed like so. The z-axis rods extend throughout the entire frame through the bearings and into the base. You can then install the z-axis lead screw and this is all the mechanical parts of the build finished. I then went ahead and connected everything up. I mounted the ramps board to the side of the frame and in the end the E3D Titan extruder fitted quite nicely. The z-axis end stop is adjusted using this pretty long M3 spacer and the spool holder is nicely incorporated into the top of the frame. I then printed some calibration cubes. The first four here were done with no cooling fan and the original shaft coupler. On the hypercube I then printed this double fan duct and a rigid shaft coupler and this made a big difference to the print quality as you can see this is before and this is after. I'll leave a link for both designers of those parts in the description below. I then printed this parametric vase. It took about three hours in total. You can't go very fast with this printer because of the way the bearings are attached and things like that. However, you know, it didn't take very much calibration at all to get it printing like this. So there's still a bit of Z banding, uh, that depends on the, the nature of the lead screw, but the bottom way is very nice and for now I'm very happy with how this turned out. So thanks very much for watching, if you have any questions then leave me a comment. 
please subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.